What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are taking a look at three easy tips for defending queen charges. This is for any town hall level. These are some things you can implement to your bases as you're building them to make sure it's as difficult as possible for queen charges to work. And of course, you can you know put seeking air mines to kill healers and have a tough clan castle troop uh, composition or put a lot of high damage buildings in a certain place. Those are all ways you can defend queen charges, but this deals with how you set up your base, being a little craftier with um, the layout of where your buildings are to you know, defend queen charges but not have to invest too much to do so. Let's get right into it. So this first example, um, this might be the corner of your base, let's say. If the queen is coming uh, from this side, going into the base, it looks like a queen charge would be pretty easy. You either do a jump spell on this archer tower or you wall break a few layers, easily get the eagle taken out. So if you're afraid that there's a lot of good value for a queen charge, one thing you can do um, if your base allows, back up the eagle a few tiles um, in this case and then have that second layer be farther back. And um, just looking at it from this side, uh, you know, if the queen is out here trying to go in that way, it makes it much, much more difficult to funnel the queen into the base because it's that second layer of buildings, that second compartment deep into the base where the the queen is actually pulled into the base from. You know, she's going to stand outside the base, take out these buildings. Then the hope for the attacker is they can funnel her well enough that she at some point targets this next layer of buildings and takes either the gap from the wall breakers or from the jump spell or earthquake spell or whatever was used to open up the walls. Um, that she takes that gap to target this next layer. So by putting it farther back into the base, you make it much, much more difficult to funnel the queen into the base, and there's a greater chance she'll target the building out here, the building out here, um, and uh, any other buildings that might be out to these two directions. Um, so as long as you have a couple buildings that might be uh, there to distract the queen and difficult to take out for funneling troops, you can make it very difficult um, without having to invest a lot of other buildings or traps or redesign your entire base to make that queen charge not possible. You just got to make these buildings farther back, harder to actually pull your queen in. Let's move on to the next example. Um, this one I'm a big fan of. Sometimes you can also kill the healers and have that be what stops the queen charge. So in this example, we're pretending the attacker would really get a lot of value from entering in this compartment with the Inferno Tower and the Expo. Um, let's say they're going to wall break that first layer of walls. Um, one way you could defend this queen charge is putting the air defense over here. What this would do is it's in this adjacent compartment. So if the queen charge starts here, she walks down, enters the compartment, she can't reach that air defense, but the air defense is going to easily be able to pick off the healers because um, they'll be standing right around here near the cannon and the walls around here as she cuts in. Um, so the air defense can pick off the healers. Uh, in this case, it might be nice to have an air defense on the other side. Um, where are my air defenses? Here we go. Put one there. That way, no matter which side the queen comes from uh, to enter the base, the healers are going to get picked off. Even if she comes straight into the base, eventually uh, the healers are going to get to where the expo is, in which case the air defenses can reach them and take them out. So as long as the air defenses are difficult for the queen to take out, you can really prevent her from entering a certain compartment because it will kill the healers if she goes that direction and pulls the healers with her. Last tip for you guys. Um, this one is uh, a bit of a trickier um, one that's maybe going to be used a little bit less. But in my last live attack, I had the inspiration for it. Um, let's say uh, queen charges, as you guys know, are often started kind of on the corner, then they walk either one direction. So let's say the queen starts here and walks down this direction. If that's a likely queen charge to be used on your base, then maybe she'll enter later, let's say. You can make it tricky by opening up this one wall right here and actually opening up this wall here too, maybe, uh, but at least that one wall. What this will do is it will tempt her to, as she steps up, to actually target this expo, which she might not uh, do otherwise, or even target this elixir storage, um, a building that she would not be able to reach unless that wall was open. 
Um, so she might have originally stepped up and gone this way. Now she's actually going to enter the base in a place where the attacker does not want the queen to enter the base. That's the key, because there's a lot of different ways you can imagine this being done. It's not limited to just using on a corner of the base or in this one specific example I'm showing. So think about maybe if I have a few gaps in my walls, and we've talked about tricky walls in the channel here and there, um, and when you can use them. This is another benefit, is you can have the queen walk into the base where the attacker might not want that to happen. Um, a, a good example would also be if you add like an inferno tower, say a single inferno right here, the attacker would want the queen to kind of step up, walk around, and enter later. Whereas if she steps up to where that cannon is, now the single inferno is going to lock onto her. So you can use the tricky walls, uh, these gaps, to prevent the uh, queen from just kind of walking around. You can actually tempt her to enter the base, and it's very hard to make it not happen if you're the attacker. You can never be sure. So, those are three ways you can defend queen charges without having to use the traditional seeking air mines to kill healers, uh, single infernos, a bunch of expos, the typical stuff that would be thought of. These are some more trickier ways you can do it and um, have you know other resources to invest in defending other attacks, which are, you know, there's always other stuff to defend in addition to queen charge. So hopefully this makes it a little bit easier for you base builders. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in your own custom war bases each month, check out the Patreon. Uh, the info is kind of above me on the screen and you can find out more on the link in the description to my actual Patreon page. That will do it guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.